What's up, YouTube? Let's get it cracking. Okay. We got a box open over here. And, um, got two boxes this time. Uh, we're going to see what's in them. And, uh, maybe show a couple of things that I'm working on in the shop. So, very glad to do a live stream again. It's been a, quite a while since I've been able to afford the time to do so. And uh, I just kind of figured I'd open up these boxes and show you what paint I ordered this time. Pretty much the same stuff as last year. But I think there are a couple new colors that I don't normally purchase that we picked up, but we're going to see. Now before I open this box, I'm just going to ask you guys out there to hit the like button and smash that subscribe. Uh, I really would like to produce more videos and bring some more stuff to you guys on a regular basis and I need the motivation so let's see those numbers go up and I will start bringing you more video on my process of things that I do all right so looks like they have changed the bottles and I was expecting this because uh, I worked at uh, my good friend Anthony's shop uh, called East Coast Airbrush. Shout out to Anthony. Um, just recently, and he had these bottles. So we got the little minis over here. I guess they're eight ounces. No, no, no. It's got to be at least 16. So, let's just say. I'm going to just assume this is 16 ounces. All right, so that would make the 32. So we got the hot pink in two little stubby bottles. All right, so new stubby bottles. Got to admit, we'll have to find or rearrange the shelves so that way these bottles will work. I think they will go into one area as opposed to another, and I got to utilize some of my old paint bottles. Because I have a a bunch of uh, the original Wicked brand paint. Some of them. Some of them weren't used. Some of them have been used a lot. This brown. This is the original Wicked label. Right there, if you can see. And uh, this is good paint. And this looks like it's black. It's a purple or wicked violet. It's pretty dark. Um, I need to put this in a bottle because I should just like try to use it up. Primarily use the E-Tac now because I have found, um, I don't know, that is a very quality brand. And uh, I'm sticking to my guns with uh, using it because it's just always very vibrant, sprays well, uh, atomizes, I suppose, well. And um, man, I haven't had any bad experiences with it. Maybe a one or two, but it's very good paint. So let's go deep into the box. Let's see what we got here. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we've got our. Napathol red. Alright. Always a nice standard like fire engine red type color. Okay. And uh, been using this pretty often. Calebra Gold. Okay, this Calebra Gold. I use uh, I use this with crowns and then 
um, a lot of times when the design calls for a little bit of yellow a bright brightness I'll use this um, but a lot of times I use the, the fluorescent almost kind of depends now which gun I have in my hand um, but I have been noticing that I, I will use this in place of the fluorescent yellow uh, in, in maybe a more darker uh, saturated theme you know so with the purples and the oranges this one goes really well all right looks like we got our blue it's our fluorescent blue with no label but it's still fluorescent blue it's a nice 32 ounce seems like I can see um, that from sitting a lot of the paint just has not been fully mixed so we're gonna have to shake these up keep those going here so let's go okay the next one is my all-time favorite color okay this one is always beautiful this is I would say I, I really don't know how to pronounce it I was hoping that CJ would say it but he never did uh, Vakis blue Vikings blue it, it's a blue okay um, it's a good blue uh, it's a very uh, light blue um, and it has a tint of green to it so it's very much like a tropical or a Maui a Maui uh, blue but it's very good color Okay, so now here's something that I'm, I'm a little confused about, but uh, we will understand what's going on later. I'm not really certain here. So it looks like, uh, since I ordered this over the phone, I requested uh, that CJ, uh, if they had an opaque yellow, and as we discussed it, I believe he got confused and 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 he ordered uh, I, I guess he placed this within the order the opaque opaque yellow light yellow it's a very light uh, yellow and uh, I had planned to use this with possibly like outlining as opposed to using uh, a white outline so I'm going to put this in a bottle and um, once I actually clean my airbrushes as you can see I have a graveyard of airbrushes there um, this color is going to get a brush all right and so here's the confusion I believe CJ was being good guy and he hooked me up with a nice uh, four ounce bottle of a semi opaque yellow now this one is I don't know if you can really see the difference but this one definitely is a little bit more saturated uh, it definitely is m closer to a I would say like a sunshine yellow uh, not a sunshine but a, a dandelion yellow or some sort of flowerish type yellow I don't know what what, what they would call this um, but this one almost reminds me of chalk so we, we, you know it'll be interesting how this one kind of works out Okay, now on to box number two. And I don't believe I should have covered the stickers, but I don't believe you can see that. Eventually, I'm sure there will be technology of somebody who will enhance, enhance, enhance. Let's enhance that. I think we're okay. All right, box number two. Popping out the raspberry already. Bam! I call this one raspberry, but it's a it's a magenta. I I, I could have sworn that they originally called this raspberry, um, but it's fluorescent magenta, and boy, do I really enjoy this color now. It's it's 
it's in between the fluorescent um, lavender, I would say, or fluorescent purple, they call it. It's, it's sometimes a, a lavender, but uh, it's all in between the hot pink and the, and the lavender. Very good color. I don't think I ordered the... Um, this is the fluorescent hot purple. I didn't really have to order it. I think, like I mentioned, I'm going to start using some of this old stuff. And I'll have a, another bottle of purple when I want to go dark. Because a lot of colors, you have to remember when I'm writing names on uh, the in the designs themselves, black is usually the darkest color. And by using a purple, um, you know, I want to make sure that it's not darker than the black. And this is very close, this wicked purple. <coughs> and I have uh, probably, I probably have down there also Createx purple. Um, those two, co those, those colors, when they're so dark, they tend to not get used. And, uh, okay, I'm hoping... I don't see everything in the box that I ordered here. So we're going to have to, because I'm pretty certain I, I ordered an opaque, an opaque uh, gray, and that's missing. All right, so got fluorescent green. We needed to restock on that. And that's not a color that I, 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 I tend to use it more, I believe, in the summer. Outdoors, it looks very bright and vibrant and um, it tends to uh, dry pretty quick and, and often I've, I've found that the gun that I use with it it just it, it just shoots out so perfectly it's a very good color all right so now I'm really confused I think hmm what do we got here this says fluorescent blue but this this is a light blue Okay, I'm very confused, CJ. I don't know what's going on here. You guys have to... Let's see. Because that does not look like the normal hot blue. That does not look like a fluorescent blue. I'm going to open it up. Let's see. Yeah, see, that's, that's very different. It's very different. Okay. Now, I hate to nitpick. All right, but the difference should be pretty obvious here. You can, you should be able to see this. How much more vibrant and darker this blue is. Oops but they have the same name so something's not right oh no well this one says fluorescent blue this one says fluorescent hot blue so perhaps they've changed things um, I'm gonna have to give them a call and see what what the deal is there's a good amount of this hot blue still there and this fluorescent blue almost reminds me of the Createx fluorescent blue. Definitely looks like Createx fluorescent blue. All right, we have blue for days here. So let's open this one up and see what we got here. Let's see this to me. It's the same thing. I mean, literally the same thing. Okay. Alright, not to say that I'm a little disappointed, but um, I'm going to have to double check see what might have went wrong here. 
All right, to round this out, got fluorescent yellow, tried and true fluorescent yellow. I think this is the color I probably use the most. Um, it gets sprayed in between. It's it's the area where uh, when I tend to do lettering, it's usually in the middle. It's a nice color to put the black on top of and really pop and you can just kind of you know it's 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 so legible so so you know you can see it it doesn't blend in or hide the lettering all right and of course we've got our opaque titanium whites and opaque jet black all right so that rounds it all off. I could have sworn that I ordered a gray. Let me look at my gray. Yeah, because this is this is low. This is transparent. Gray is low. Pretty certain I ordered this. Yeah. Um, I'll have to look at the list again. But other than that, all the colors pretty much are there. You can see that sometimes the colors, the colors are pretty consistent. It's usually pretty persistent. Always have to worry about uh, atomization, even though it looks fine. Um, you know, sometimes the mixture could could be. Uh, a little off but uh, other than that that consistency is, is is usually pretty pretty much there but like I mentioned every once in a while you know people are <coughs> gonna make mistakes here and there and uh, yeah so this these two blues definitely they, they kind of look a little different and I'm gonna have to question them about what's going on here Smells good. It smells like maybe they're having they've got some holiday uh, holiday kind of cookies or something. I smell cookies. I swear to you, I smell I smell cookies. Maybe it's my coffee. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> it's probably the coffee. But uh, I just wanted to put that out there. And what do we got here? This one says we're live, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Like I said, I just kind of wanted to uh, get used to doing this again. And uh, I'm always confused about where I should be looking or how I should uh, kind of address the audience. But we're getting better at it. It's, being more, it's more comfortable. Uh, so I guess... Uh, Really quick, just a couple of things that I'm working on here. Been doing some hats. Um, there's an artist out there. Um, I think his name is JD Air. Uh, he's got some really cool. Um, I think he his his company's name is uh, Tats and Caps or Caps and Tats possibly. But I love the style and the, how clean his artwork was. I started to realize that I can do stuff like that and tape off the uh, brim so that way it's a little cleaner. Uh, but with the white hats, I'm starting to realize like I don't like the white hats. They get, you know, um, they kind of take on a lot of uh, extra dirt and um, the overspray tends to, you know, if you don't tape well enough, the overspray will get where you don't want it to be but it doesn't ruin the hat completely it's, I think it still looks pretty cool but I'm going to kind of move forward and do a little bit more practice with my graffiti style and um, you know this kind of presents uh, an opportunity to just create uh, some stuff off of the cuff and um, whenever I do some shows I will have some product to just kind of uh, you know display and sell right away as opposed to just you know having 
having somebody just do a personal thing. But a lot of times what I've realized is people, uh, they don't know what to order. And they have to be visually tempted. Um, they have to see a lot of things for their brain to kind of, you know, get the gist and say, oh, this is, this is kind of where I'm, the direction I want to go. So this one I'm still working on. I didn't, uh, didn't finish this one yet in color. This is a little workout thing. Um, oops. I don't know which way the camera is. Uh, if you can see there. We got gains, baby. Gains. Okay, so we're going to throw some color on that. I'm not going to do that now because I'm not really set up. Nothing's on yet. Do, 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 do. But as I said, I just want to do a little nice box opening so that way uh, it's obvious what was in the box one. And uh, everybody gets to see. such vibrant and fresh colors because this is always really nice to see them pristine and uh, full of color no drips on the bottles I don't know why but it, it just does something for me <laughs> so yeah there's the colors right there I enjoyed sharing this with you. I hope that you enjoy uh, anything that you got out of this. And as I mentioned, I'm going to try to uh, be a little bit more consistent. Yeah, right. And do some more of uh, the streaming. So I hope that uh, you will try the ETAC brand. Uh, you can find it on the internet uh, by looking up either ETAC or I believe US Airbrush. Uh, don't quote me on that. But um, ETAC brand is, is pretty reliable. Um, I, I, I think it's a, a fantastic brand. Um, you know, and I just hope that a lot of people out there watching this video, you'll find them and support them uh, right now I think you can only order by calling them over the phone it's a little bit of a different approach but you know the, the job still gets done still gets shipped out to you and um, yeah I can't wait to uh, clean out the bottles I'm gonna, I think today what I planned on doing is I'm gonna revitalize my airbrushes and uh, to do so I'm gonna probably clean out all the bottles from head to toe uh, you know top to bottom head to toe I'm gonna just um, open them up uh, dump the old paint and uh, marry it with the you know uh, you know the, the paint that's currently in the bottles shake those up get them reconsistent you know um, and get get everything uh, just ready for a big weekend. I have four uh, good gigs this weekend. Um, one on Friday, one on Saturday, two on Sunday. And then I also, I hope I have uh, another uh, gentleman. He's going to take my spot at a Christmas pop-up. Uh, you know, fortunately I would say, I'm not going to say unfortunately, I was able to pick up a Sweet 16 on the same day that I had uh, you know a shoppers village type thing and um, although I probably would have been successful at that shoppers uh, um, pop-up um, I find that it would be you know more opportunistic to just take the gig on and uh, you know make a new client make somebody happy that uh, I was able to pick up that job you know they um, had an artist that wasn't able to make it and um, I just gonna sub for that guy or not really sub I'm just gonna take him taking that guy's job I'm gonna do it right and um, yeah like I said uh, I hope that you get something out of uh, my videos I'm trying to figure out what 
I need to uh, do to make them a little bit more exciting and more relevant to my audience and also figure out what my audience really is because uh, I do like to try 3D and I uh, you know fit that in where I can but uh, I am still going along the lines of uh, painting and I've tried um, I've tried this gummy gouache or jelly gouache stuff, which I really think is pretty cool. The, these 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 are open, but I didn't want to open them fully so that they don't dry out. But I enjoyed um, one painting that I started here. I'll show that off. And uh, I would love if anybody in the comments could tell me who that's going to be. Okay. It's a good start. I have to say it's a very good start. I really like how gouache paint is very opaque and uh, will produce a cell, uh, cell drawing effect very easily. I don't know if I could pop one out here. This is a recent practice I did. This isn't this isn't the gouache, but uh, I was practicing cell art, and um, this is a, just acrylic on the back of a transparency. Okay. And I believe on top, is it on top or the bottom? Oh no, th this was an experiment. I basically printed the lines onto the transparency and then I painted on the back. Yeah. And what I'm seeing here is that like with the acrylic, you have to glob the paint on so that way it looks very flat on this side um, but I believe the gouache is going to do a lot better when I go to try that out so I get back around to that but as I mentioned I was enjoying doing this stuff with the gouache and that's really good paint as well but uh, go out there and look up uh, the ETAC brand and get yourself uh, some smaller sizes to get yourself started and I wish you the best create 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 you know stuff like that <laughs> now um, I'm about to get busy myself and I'll probably work on the hats and I have a lot of inventory gathering I have to make my boxes for the weekend and I believe uh, we should have a shipment of hats coming in this week as well so it's definitely uh, one of those weeks where the pocket gets hit pretty hard but uh, we will make it back we just have to work on um, bringing in the you know bringing in more uh, opportunities and jobs and uh, basically you know the more that you paint and the more that you put it out there the more people will be receptive and want pieces of their own so I hope that you tune in and um, I'm gonna try to produce more videos and put myself out there so like I said in the beginning, please smash the like and the subs subscribe button. If I can say subscribe, I would say it better. Uh, I will s practice all of that <laughs> and hopefully we'll, got, we'll have it for the next video, a little bit less choppy. Alright, so enjoy your day, stay creating. And, um, yeah, man. Ah, well, I could finally see the video over there. All right, that looks good.
All right, that's enough. Enough YouTube. I gotta work on my gains. My gains. All right, that's it. See you guys soon.